child of God, this is how the enemy always attacks us. Your enemy will always come before you. But remember, the Bible said in Ephesians chapter 6, the verse of 10 downwards, the Bible says that finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Don't run. Stand. Face the enemy. As a believer, the enemy will always come after you. But the Bible says that we should always stand in his mighty power. That we should put on the full armor of God. So that we can stand against the devil's schemes. Don't run. Because our struggle is not of flesh and blood. We are not fighting with the flesh and the blood. The enemy will always come to you through the, the flesh. The enemy will always attack you at your workplaces. But stand. Don't run. Stand. That is why if you read the verse 13, it will tell you that therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand on your ground. And after you have done everything, that you should stand. After you have put on the full armor, you must stand. Resist the enemy. Strike the enemy. Go to them one by one. Don't allow the enemy to defeat you. You are more than conqueror. They are around you. In the family. In the workplace. In your community. In your locality. At your mother's family line. At the paternal family line. They will come from all angles. They will try to defeat you. But there is something in you that is greater than that which is in the world. God has given you the power. God has invested in you some power to defeat the enemy. Never allow the enemy to intimidate you. Don't see yourself to be small. Don't let the number of enemies around you put you to fears. Don't let their numbers intimidate you. Don't look at their numbers. Look at that which is in you. Look at that which you can do. Save yourself by prayer. Because the Bible says that the fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. The Bible says that we should pray always. We shouldn't faint. We should pray always. We should keep that fire burning. The enemies will attack us. But because there is something in you, there is God in you. There is power in you. The Lord has given us a name that is above all other names. And at the mention of that name, every knee bow. You will go after your enemies one by one. Although they are many. Although they are after you. Although they are afflicting you. Although they are bringing... Uh, transgressions they are bringing persecutions they are coming to you in your marriage they are coming to you from your paternal line they are coming to you from your workplaces they are coming to you from your your relationship they are coming to you from even your ministry that you belong don't give up keep the fire burning never give up Keep on praying. Keep on fighting. 
Keep on calling on God. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can win the battle. Believe that you can win the battle. Never give up. God is on your side. You are a victorious. Victory is on your side. You are more than conqueror. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. And you defeat the enemy. The enemy will come to you like a lion. But he is not a lion. But we serve the lion of Judah. We serve a living God. Satan cannot defeat our God. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.